It's about to get more expensive to park in a popular city for bars and restaurants. Ferndale raising rates now to pay for a new parking deck. Mara McDonald is live there tonight. And Mara, what kind of increase are we talking about here? Sandra, we're talking about a 100% increase here. And yes, I know that sounds awful until you put it into some context. Let me show you. What Ferndale is building here isn't just a parking garage. It will have retail on the lower level, office space, and a spiffy streetscape. It's got a $20 million price tag. We made a decision early on with a lot of input from the community that we wanted something more special, something that reflected the character of Ferndale. Coulter and the city council didn't want the price tag to land on Ferndale homeowners, but on those who utilize and park in the downtown. So. Ferndale's lower than average 50 cents an hour now goes to a buck an hour, which is still a shade lower than the dollar 15 average in comparable communities. How it's compared to others, it was a little easier to take, but I want you to look at it from our side, right? We're really, um, we're, we're, we're successful businesses now that we have to change our plan because something big's happening. A handful of business owners and residents had questions about the increase and while not thrilled about it, were respectful. While construction of the deck is ongoing and parking is likely to be tighter than usual, the city will pick up the tab for downtown valet service. I'm a Ferndale resident, so I don't want to pay for people who come in from all over to go to the bars here in Ferndale. I don't want to pay for the parking structure for them. So, so I think it's fair. Back here live, you can expect to see those parking rates increase this April, and they're going to be enforcing it 11 a.m. through midnight. We're live in Ferndale tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.